Good afternoon. Right. Almost finished. Uh, not too bad. Right, don't matter about this bit here because sink unit and everything's going there. Uh, not a boo boo. We looks a mess. Uh, oh, pardon me. This. The thing is. I didn't have a full length from there to there, otherwise I'd have, you know, cut it there and gone all the way down that one full down. It's actually bugging me, to be honest. And uh, I don't know if I think it's going to come. Obviously, there's going to be a piece here. Yeah, you know, but. Uh, Anyway, there's a lad called Tam who's replied to one of my tube, one of the, the f videos. What he's saying is right. I'm just wondering whether I could do the same here, Tam. Just put a bit of silver across it. You know, just tidy it off. And it's also bent. Uh, yeah, uh, regarding route window, the round. Uh, so I won't be able to do what you suggested and also uh, I've managed to f source some rubber so I'm going to order some of that uh, it's 35 mil which is 35 mil so not a problem uh, I think it looked too bad a bit of cleaning up pretty good <coughs> Right, I'm going to get on with, uh, oh, I need to heat shrink that, and then I want to set it all up, oh, I've got down here to do as well, oh my god, there's lots to do, <laughs> yeah, so I'll do this, this little bit, I'll do that, just to finish off, I've got two long lengths of uh, edging trim, so, right, I'm going to get on with that. Hello, uh I'll be honest with you, I got bored with the bathroom, so I put that in. Uh, I was going to show it all, but I'll be honest with you, I'm getting ready, I think I'm coming down with something, anyway. Yeah, uh, that there, cramps and copying, yeah, that there, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's where the seat's going to go. Uh, 696mm, wait it all out, uh, yeah, anyway, they're in, like I said, bathroom's not too bad, it's just faffing about, I can't do it, uh, this looks a bit of a mess, yeah, does it look a mess, Ollie? Yeah, uh, but there's trim in there, you've got to get some trim, haven't we, Ollie? Yeah, to go down this corner. Uh, this will only need some there. Uh, sorry, there. Knocking trim. Uh, holding with the blocks. And like I say, that tadpoles, tadpole, tadpole stuff. Yeah. Uh, I was a bit concerned about the space between the beds. It's not. It's not that much, it's only that big. <laughs> it's funny, aren't the kids? Uh, yeah, the space from there to there is hardly out. Um, but, you know, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong here. I really do. Right, I've got the distance from there. I'm having the seats higher. 15 inch uh, for comfort basically 15 inch and then I've worked it out the size of the seat there and the size of the seat there and the gap because obviously the cushions that go along the backs are going to slot in between to make the bed and I've it's right in fact I'm I'm, I'm higher than that it's going to be 
about three or four inch, where am I, there, about three or four inch higher, but it's going to go right along there. <laughs> Hello, uh, decided not to bother with bathroom anymore for time being because of the weather that's going to be coming. Uh, as we all know, this some, we've had some good weather. Uh, it's Tuesday today. We've had some really good weather, so what I did, I started on the outside, uh, putting the rails back, etc. I'll leave the inside. Um, I did the near side yesterday, but I didn't film any of it. Um, today I did the off side, driver's side which I've filmed a lot um, so this is it so the last two last bit you've just seen with the bathroom and inside that were two or three days ago so like I said this what you're going to see now was today bye bye hello uh, nothing to report really except I've put this aluminium rail on uh, at the sides here, there's uh, like a rubber, and it like clips onto rail. It's it's really weird how it works. But God, what a poor leg that was to put on. Really bad. Anyway, what I've done also, where it was filled, I've sanded it down best I can. Well, why old it actually? Only place I haven't done is where these holes are. There's a couple more under there, but I've masked this off. Uh, it's close to this here black seal as I can and what I'm going to do is put a light coat in it's just to tidy it up that's all you know what I mean like a skim and same under here I'm going to do the same and if I don't know if anybody remembers look at all midges good god anyway uh, there were a lot of fill around here obviously this is where they must have thought the rain were getting in but it weren't were it, it were coming through these holes at the side uh, masked it off down here as well because like I say I'm going to put a right thin just to just yeah just to cover the white that rough white uh, pointless here really uh, I'm going to have to get wire brush wire wool and get rid of that black there because I don't really want to put any more silicon in there, really. Yeah, so that's what I'm on with. Anyway, today, I don't know whether to do that top rail, but looking at all them midges, look at them all. Can you see her? Oh, I'm going to get bit to bits. Look at that, there's millions on the other side. Wait, well, it is very close. Oh, you can see them or not. Yeah, that there, you see all that filler, well, that's what it was like at the other side, so it looks like I'm going to have to do it, doesn't it? Right, uh, this doesn't look too bad, but I'm getting on with this now anyway, today. I'm going to take all that off, put that do up. I've got my water eater. Yeah, look, look at them all, little midges. I've got my water eater, it won't be electric. I went to pick up a bloke called Kenny at Keithley. Uh, thanks Irish Brian, by the way. Anyway, yeah, so I'll do that as well today. If I've got time, we're at it last night till half past eight, nine o'clock. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. That's where pinholes were, isn't it? There. All them. But like I say, it's irrelevant now with fiberglass at back. Can't get over how many midges there are. Right, I'm going. Uh, what I've done here is, <coughs> obviously I've took the tape off. Uh, that is what it generally looks like. You know what I mean? It's like the aluminium's underneath and that's on top. What I've done, peel it. Right, mate. Get all this cleaned up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, rather than Sikaflex, I might use Plumber's Mate. Yeah. Anyway, the reason I'm the video, you see these holes here? 
there. That's where the screws go through. Obviously, I've been putting some different ones. Screws go through, they go straight through and into the bulkhead. Yeah, I think it should be five. There should be about five of them. Uh, I've got some 60mm screws which I'll be putting in. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Like I say, all I'm doing is peeling it back. Like that. Don't be scared. Especially in my case, anyway, because uh, I've fiberglassed it back anyway, so it's. doesn't really matter with me on, my, my, you know, on this occasion. Well, I decided to use uh, Plumber's Mate. Uh, one, it's tidier. And two, I think it does a better job looking at it. It's absolutely brilliant. What I've done is really packed it. My uh, staple, staple gun has decided to give up the ghost. Not bad though, is it? Three years for 20 quid. Uh, yeah, so I'm using one inch brads from Pound Shop uh, and they're doing very well to be honest and I think it's actually a better job I think that's going to be bang on you know I really do Finish that and I'll tell you what it is, I am impressed Never will I use Sikaflex or Tiger Seal on this particular type of joint, you know the works. Why? Look how tidy it is. I've gone every inch we attack with inch nail. It's going into new wood at back, so brilliant. I am really, really impressed with that. And there's no way on this earth water can get in there. Well, you know what water's like, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to clean this up now. Uh, clean up the rail, then offer it up. Try and get some of that rubber on the edge again. Uh, this is rail. <coughs> that uh, goes up there. As you can see. is all uh, non-setting mastic all in between all the way down basically you just get a screwdriver well this is all dilly dillies comes out quite easy uh, yeah you get all that out uh, this black at the side here just get it off a little bit sorry uh, just get it off a little bit because when I get the rubber on it covers that anyway so anyway yeah just thought I'd show you that how easy it is you know to get out well sometimes <laughs> yeah you need two hands so there we go just want to show you this this is the rubber seal I don't know if you can see it's not right. Right. That there, like a little lip. Well, that lip goes over and under. You know what I mean? It's hard to really explain. Uh, yeah. What's, what do you do? Uh, right, can you see that lip there? That goes over that there. So you end up Right now, let me just 
see this or not. That there goes under like that. There you go, see there. it on but it were hard work so a bit of washing up liquid in this groove but anyway that's how it ends up looking and that's what it looks like on top which makes it very very tidy uh, once you've done that uh, I'm, I'm really tempted to use that plumber's mate again, I'll be honest with you. But anyway, well, I'm not. I'm going to go the technical way. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, uh, silicon, well, tiger seal in my case. That'll be down in that channel. And that one there, where the screw holes are. There. Uh, once I get this rubber on, I'll show you. Right, I've cleaned it up. <coughs> I've started putting this here trimming, and what I've done started a one and oh, yeah, I filled it up with uh, fairy. Right, now what I generally do is put it on, and it generally slides. Well, it's been a bit of a bugger, is this? But if you. Do you see it sliding a bit? But you need two hands. Well, he just generally pulls on. Right, <clears throat> that's how it ends up. You've got a rubber on each side. Uh, it takes quite a while though to get it on. Uh, if I show you the other side, you'll see how it actually goes in. Focus better now. There, look. see. And then, obviously, when it's offered up, you yeah, get a good seal on both sides. There, look. Like that. Tidy this sort of thing. Right. So, what I'm going to do now is run a, a good bead of uh, my tiger seal all the way up uh, what I generally do the rubber's hanging over the edge here what I try and do is pull it down as soon as it sticks out the bottom that way if there's any shrinkage overnight it can handle it on it right right filled it full of tiger um, if you look from the side, there you just about just slightly proud. Right now, what I'm going to do is offer it up. Oh, I'll put a little bit in there where it meets, where it joins there. Uh, oops, there. Not a lot. Right, there we have it. Very tidy job. This here on the edge is where the old one was. Well, not the old ones, sorry, they were there, but obviously they thought the leak were going through here, so they put some uh, black silicon. Whereas you can see on this side, it's tidy. Cool. Right, it's case now, we'll get the airs in.